Have you ever seen a story in the news and then afterwards just lose a little bit of faith in humanity? Yeah, that's kind of the case with this one. Stay tuned. I wasn't planning on making another video this week, but I saw this one story and it's kind of heart-wrenching, honestly. So I'm going to cover it because I feel like stuff like this really doesn't get covered and get attention very much. And I want to make sure that this story gets out. I want the people involved in it exposed uh, and open for public criticism because honestly, I can't understand the kind of cruelty and malice it takes to inflict this kind of injury upon a six-year-old boy. So let's go over the story. Six-year-old Dominic Crankhall severely burned after bully chucked flaming tennis ball at him. Uh, a six-year-old boy uh, was severely burned when a young neighbor doused a tennis ball with gasoline before lighting it aflame and tossing it at the child's face, a report said. Dominic Crankhall was playing in his backyard in Bridgeport on Sunday when he was bullied by an eight-year-old boy who snatched gasoline and a lighter from a shed before coaxing the child to come near him according to NBC New York. As soon as we walked down the stairs, the bully came, uh, called his name and lured him around the corner, the boy's sister, Kayla Deegan, told the outlet. In a matter of seconds, he came, around, he came back around the corner screaming, saying, Mommy, they lit me on fire, they lit me on fire. Kayla said the sadistic act was done on purpose, and the neighbor has bullied her brother in the past. Uh, when... What he did was pour gasoline on a tennis ball, took a lighter, lit it up, and chucked it right at my brother's face, and then ran away from him and watched him burn. Two months ago, under the, bully, under the bully's mother's supervision, he was pushed into a wall and fell to the floor, and again, the mother refused to admit her kid did it. So, caring for a mother, and it gets worse. So, you can see, this was uh, Dominic before the incident. Here's another photo of him, and here's him afterwards in the hospital, in the intensive care unit, for third-degree burns. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, Dominic was rushed to the burn unit at Bridgeport Hospital, where he was, where he is recovering, thankfully. Uh, the family started a GoFundMe to help uh, aid the child's recovery. They received 162,000 in donations as of Wednesday night. Now, I have that GoFundMe pulled up here, and you can see that it's, it's just absolutely horrendous what happened to this uh, child. But as of right now, the family has raised $268,602. If I refresh the story, uh, it should come up with, yeah, even more, uh, $271,475, because uh, I pulled this up this afternoon. And uh, you have the... Description of the of the page written by his sister. My little brother Dom has been bullied for a while by the neighbors. It escalated to a deadly intent. Uh, I mean, obviously this was premeditated. If this um, if this child were to be charged as an adult, the charges would most likely be premeditated, attempted attempted first degree murder. That is, if I was the AG trying that case, that's what I would press the charges as. So I don't know um, if anybody will press charges against an eight-year-old, but this is absolutely horrendous stuff. And if anybody can come up with the name of said eight-year-old or said eight-year-old's mother, I wouldn't be opposed to publishing that. I'm not going to dox anybody. I'm not releasing anyone's address, but I will say that the names of said individuals should be public information. Uh, my little brother Dom, ha okay, has been bullied for quite a while. Um, my six-year-old brother uh, could have died. The kid covered a ball in gasoline, lit it on fire, and threw it at him, all in a matter of seconds. Dom has second and third degree burns on his face and leg. He's going to be scarred for life mentally and physically. Uh, we are looking for help for finding a new home because it's not safe here. This bully has gotten away with too much and has a history of bullying. The mother thinks he's innocent. 
And if you go and watch the video over here, it even gets worse. Um, the other family thinks that this is all a joke, and the mother's denying uh, her son had any part in it. There are also multiple different witnesses um, for this for this uh, action. Uh, it wasn't just like it's one one kid's word against another. There's there's different witnesses and camera angles. Uh, apparently, I couldn't find them, but supposedly they are out there. So let's go over this. Uh, all in a matter of seconds, Dom has second and third degree burns on his face and leg. Um, so they're looking for help finding a house. Um, and then Dominic can't talk because he's in a lot of pain and all swollen. He said to his mom, please don't take me back there. Anything helps, even a share. Thank you for all the support. I'm sure Dominic appreciates it. This is extremely unfair and should never happen to any child. We need justice for our little Dominic. To which I agree. The monsters who did this should be, their names should be released to the public. Um, I mean, because this is, this is just absolutely horrendous what they did this. I cannot fathom the kind, like the thought process that goes into somebody's head. Because if you, if you, uh, the kids apparently were playing with gasoline well in advance of this incident, uh, of this incident. So they intentionally lured this kid into a trap in which they intended to throw a flaming uh, tennis ball at his face, doused in gasoline. So there's an update here um, from Kayla, again, his sister. First, we wanted to come on here and say thank you all so much for the outpouring of support and love. We are speechless and beyond grateful. We have such an amazing community and a rally behind Dominic. Keep sharing his, stor his story so this never happens to another child and so we can get Dom the justice he deserves. After such a terrible attack, I really don't think there was good... I really didn't think there was good people in the world anymore. Dominic is doing a little better, thank God. Uh, yesterday was the first time he actually was able to get a, bite, a few bites of food uh, past his extremely swollen lips and into his mouth. He can only handle a few bites, but that's some good news. He will sip soup out of a straw as well. Uh, he's such a tough little cookie, the bravest six-year-old I've ever known. Being an older sister um, and so close to your siblings, uh, seeing my brother like this is absolutely heart-wrenching. No, um, no baby should ever have to go, have to lay in a hospital bed like this. Dominic is such a happy-go-lucky boy, and everyone was his friend no matter what. Uh, all he ever wanted to do was ride his bike, play ba basketball, and go fishing. Now he has to lay in a bed for months until he's even able to walk outside again. It breaks my heart over and over again. My poor baby is in pain every day, and there isn't much we can do. Thank you all for everything, sharing, donating, commenting. Every little bit helps get his story out. We will keep you all updated on Dominic. Thank you. Justice for Dom. And then you can see uh, Kayla Deegan, uh, who's the event organizer. So this is just a really horrible story. Uh, and, you know, at least um, 5.2 or 5.2 thousand donations. So they're... There's more good in the world, obviously, than there is bad, but I think the moral that you can take away from this story is you got to know who your kid's interacting with at all times. Uh, and, you know, there are dangerous people out in the world today, very evident uh, in some of the stories we've been covering on this channel. And you don't always know what that person's going to look like. They're not just going to be some guy wearing a hoodie acting strange on a sidewalk. They can be as innocent looking as an eight-year-old boy, apparently, and still be just as much of an absolute monster. So um, we're praying for you, Dominic. Um, if this video somehow manages to reach the ears of the family, I would be more than happy to interview you guys on a live stream. Just reach out to me at cathconusa um, at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to set that up. Uh, and yeah, the prayers and support of the CPUSA community and all related communities on YouTube go out to Dominic and his family. We're praying for your recovery, buddy. And, um, yeah, stay armed and stay safe, Patriots. Uh, I will see you all next time.